Well, all of us have driven by a cemetery, but not everybody stops. Well, tonight we bring you the story of a man who did stop and then found his calling. It's an Eyewitness News exclusive entitled The Graveyard Groomer. John Walters has places to go and people to see. Well, sort of. The skeleton heads on the dashboard may give you a hint about where he's headed, but to really understand his story, you have to start at the end. It's separating. Yeah. So now water's going to get down through that over here. I would like to take that out and then put the mortar in because the mortar takes on the rainwater, you know, and, and lets it back out again. So. Somebody said, why do you worry about this? <laughs> well, it's worth saving. This is worth saving. See how this is weathered? For the last 19 years, the 58-year-old Walters has made it his mission to put busted tombstones and statues back together again. This is the statue that came off the grave of Private John Shaw. Who died in action in the Philippines in 1900. He was broken, I think, about 12, 13 pieces is what I had to start with. Victimized again in 1965. This leg here was broken and busted up just about like the right leg over here. You see, John Walters is doing more than piecing together Private Shaw's statue. He's piecing together his life. He knows when he gets it all back together, if he can, he will see a young 26-year-old man who had hoped to return to Indiana to be a teacher. As I have been told with this line of work, there's nothing you can do with that. There's nothing you can do with that. You know, and then I'm looking at what it is and thinking, you know, the biggest part of success to me is just having the courage to try. We've got to try, you know. And to me, it's just the, it's the love of the challenge and to know that when I return John Shaw and stand him right back on the pedestal that his parents painstakingly had this put there for him, uh, that's the reward to me. That's the reward. Uh, if I didn't have to make a living out of it, I'd do it for absolutely nothing. I really would. But he doesn't have to. Word is getting out about the graveyard groomer, so work is literally starting to pile up around him. In fact, so much so that he's now starting to bring that work home with him to the garage of his rural Columbia, Indiana home. I've been waiting to put that piece on. <laughs> that is the last of the original pieces he had to work with. So now, he has to fill in the gaps. Makes me feel like a stone surgeon, piecing a fellow together like this. As you watch him wield his tools like a scalpel, you wonder, who will do this work 100 years from now? Who will show this much dedication, determination, and love for us? Wow, as I sit here to work on the stone, how many people have shed tears here, said prayers here, gathered here, and then moved on? He needs to go back over to where his parents had him sculpted and placed above his grave down in Greensburg. I won't be completely satisfied until I get him standing back over his respective spot. And when he is done here, there is work to do in Muncie when the weather warms up outside the county courthouse. And then, there's always work to do just up the road. Like you're afraid if you don't do it, who's gonna, huh? Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know why it fell on me or it necessarily fell on me, but I just enjoy doing it. You see, to John Walters, rest in peace means just what it says. And it doesn't mean rest in pieces. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Nice story. Very, nice very story. Very nice yeah. and uh, good man and John Walters. Yeah. Kevin Rader and photographer Matt Wisner learned that a rededication ceremony for Private Shaw is now set for May. And if you've got a story for only in Indiana, Kevin would love to tell that story. Send him an email, krader at wthr.com.